Hey guys, Dijon here from Channel Watchers, and today we have a new series called Channel Review, and this is where we're, you know, we're, where we really review some of the top YouTube channels and how to use trends to exponentially grow their YouTube channels. Because people, they like to make YouTube extremely complicated. This is something I found off a of Reddit right here. Someone was like giving advice to like people starting starting out on YouTube, and as you can see, it's just a lot of stuff. It's just extremely complicated. And here at Channel Watchers, we don't like we don't like doing this right here. We like to keep things simple by using trends and today I'm going to show you guys why, you know, like how the major YouTube channels out there, how they took advantage of trends to really grow their channels exponentially. And today we're going to be going over Mark Lepire's channel and I'm going to really, really show you guys how we use a trend to just take his channel to the next level. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so we're here at his channel right now and as you can see, he just copped over 25 million subscribers, which is great for him. So we're going to hop over here by uh, videos. And we're gonna go over here to sort by most popular. Now, as you can see right here, his most popular videos, if you take a little close look at them, they are Five Nights at Freddy's. About, uh, I think seven out of twelve of them, they're Five Nights at Freddy's, and and and, and it accounts for over a quarter of a billion views. Now, for those who don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's, it was released about five-ish years ago, and I remember when this trend actually took off. Um. Uh, I remember looking up Five Nights at Freddy's and the only person that showed up on the YouTube search results was Mark Lepire. Not for the first result, but for the entire page. So really, I mean, as you can see here, this video got 79 million views, um, 64 million, 42 million, 42, 34, 34, 33, uh, 32 million right here. And it goes on even more down here too. Like he does not have 25 million subscribers by mistake you know this 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 here was a result of him catching on a trend extremely early and this trend was five nights at freddy's what he did was he hopped on the trend while there was literally no competition and he used that to really uh dominate the whole front page that when the trend did blow up people will have no choice but to come and watch his videos and as we all know he has a great personality so he was really able to use so he was really able to use that as a tool to convert these cold viewers into loyal subscribers and there's and I mean like the reason he I mean like he has 25.1 million subscribers that did not happen by mistake that happened by him catching on the trend early and using that to really grow his audience uh, at an exponential rate now had he not caught on the five nights at Freddy's trend I'm pretty sure he, I mean, he has a pretty good personality, so I'm pretty sure he's still be in the millions of subscribers, but uh, it'll probably be around like two to three-ish million. But thankfully for him catching on the Five Nights at Freddy's trend, he was able to get like 25 and who knows, maybe even more subscribers just by catching on this, just by him catching on that, 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 that simple trend five years ago. And that's why I really, um, that's why I really say trends are extremely important because when you look at the top channels out there and you look at how they uh, really went from nothing to something, there's always some type of trend they caught on that they use to really take their brand to the next level. And uh, and, and, and that's really our philosophy here at Trendwatch is, is to really notify people about trends before they blow up. And um, for those who don't know what Trendwatchers is, Trendwatchers, it is a free group that notifies YouTube creators. Uh, about uh, YouTube trends before they blow up and this is kind of like our group chat right here and as you can see we got like a lot going on right here we have a pretty strong community a lot of them are pretty um, online and these here are kind of like our past uh, trends we've, we've called on one of our best trends was we called on the coronavirus twice as you can see here on February 15th we called it right there before it blew up again and we also called it the first time where is it at we call it the first time right here before it blew up, if, uh, y you know, initially. So I remember that hopped on this trend right here. You know, you know, they, they took a massive profit as far as like views and subscribers. So yeah, like I said, trend watches is free. You can join us down below in the description. There should also be a, also be a link in the, the comment section. But that's really why I love using trends. And I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with this right here. Sure, so, you know, like some of these tips might work, but like this here. It just confuses a lot of people, and like I said, here at Trend Watchers, we like to make things extremely simple. And the simplest way to grow on YouTube is to use trends. I've been able to grow a YouTube channels that had like no, like no profile picture, and the and like the most random name ever, just by using trends. I didn't, I didn't have to use any of this, any any of this stuff right there. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this series. Um. 
I will definitely be reviewing more of the top channels out there as to like how they grew their YouTube channels. And as I said, we keep things simple here. I didn't go into their videos and go like, oh, he did this, he had this type of lighting. We just looked at the trends. We, we, we just looked at the trends he took advantage of and conquered the keywords for so that when it blew up, he was able to get all the views from views and traffic from that trend right there. That's the only thing we look at here at Trend Watch is to really help our help our creators grow on the YouTube platform. But yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.